Hi everyone, I'm Dorian. Hey everyone, I'm Andrea. Welcome to our backyard. I'll be discussing about Choctaw dressmaking and the applique work. And my sister here is going to be talking about um, Choctaw beadwork. And she's she's very good. If you've never seen any of her work, you should see it up close. It's nice. <laughs> All right, everyone. Um, like she said, I'm going to talk about Choctaw beadwork. Um, what I want to start off today is what we're wearing. Um, today, this is what um, the Choctaws wear today uh, during any ceremonial or social dancing. Um, what the ladies wear uh, with their dresses is um, something we call collar necklaces. And these are these collar necklaces right here. Um, a medallion. Um, there's different styles of medallions that you can wear. Uh, lapels and um, earrings like you can see on my sister. Um, also, it's uh, what we call ribbon holders that are back here, and it holds some ribbons. Um, the color that I chose to go along with my dress is what we call a sunburst design. And you can see um, it, it imitates the sunlight with the red, the orange, the yellow, and the white. Um, what um, beads that I use with this set right here is what we call um, uh, seed beads. Uh, size 10s. Um, there's different colors that you can incorporate into your designs. Um, like, like we're going to say throughout this video, is it's it's a matter of preference for you, uh, what you like. Um, color variations. Color variations, designs. Um, like you'll hear my sister talk about it um, later on the video. Is um, most of the designs come from uh, the Diamondback Rattlesnake. Um, which you'll see throughout a lot of our beadwork, our dresses, um, even basketry. Well, right here is something I made for my sister. This is one of the collar necklaces that we made right here. Um, something like this, it usually takes about a week, depending on how long you put your time into it. Um, eat, sleep, and bead. Eat, sleep, and bead. Basically. You can get it done in two, three days. <laughs> um, something like this is a little more complicated. I don't know if you'll be able to tell. Um, I like to call it like a weaving, almost like a, a weaving design. Like a net. Yes. Um, and this right here is a her medallion that she wears. Like I said, when I was discussing the medallions, it's a matter of preference of, of what you would like. Uh, but the hers is like just a three tier right there. And what I've used back here, if you, I don't know, you probably can't tell, but what I've used um, right here is some vinyl just to close it off to make it look pretty. The way I would enclose it just to make it nice and clean looking is what I would use called, what we call edging right there, right here. Um, and nowadays, just to make it look prettier, we add um, rhinestones to our designs. Uh, just, just for us to little, be a little flashy. Um, and also what we also wear for the women is something called a round comb and if she can bend down a little you can see that little shimmer in it but um i'll take mine off but this is what it looks like right here it's something to wear for you know for us ladies you know keep her hair out of the face um but uh something like a beadwork it it takes time and takes patience um you really kind of have to have a design set in your mind and colors that you would like. And um, what I like to use for my beadwork is something called some hard felt. Um, there's different ways that you can go about beading. Um, people have their their preference of how they like to go about doing it. Some will do uh, one stitch beading or some will do the two uh, two thread stitch. Um, in other words, there's no wrong way. Yes. Everyone does it different. Um, but uh, I like to do the one stitch because, you know, I'm clumsy. Um, but uh, what I use, like I said, is a heart belt and something called um, some nylon thread. And this right here is um, some size D thread. And with that, uh, depending on what kind of beads that you use, there are different sizes. Um, today, I'm going to show you there's uh, some seed beads and these are some size 10 beads right there. Um, and this one right here is a different style of beads. It's called cut beads and these are some size nines. These right here kind of give you more of that shimmer look if you want to be real sparkly. Um, and depending on what beads to use, um, today I've got some size 10 needles right there. And that's used with this thread right here. And what, I'm, what I do usually start out is um, 
you're going to knot your little thread and you're going to stick it through your felt uh, and then depending on what design that you want you're just going to go through and basically it's like you're sewing the beads onto your felt um, some people do it two at a time some I've seen people do it ten at a time um, and what you do is you're going to be beading through that felt maybe two three that two three beads at a time ten beads at a time until you get your design you you're just basically run that circle until you're done um, and what I've added to my daughters is uh, some rhinestone just to make it look pretty and shiny um, and like I said I close it off with some um, vinyl back there um, put some fringes down and made her necklace and there's not actually one one size that everyone follows everyone has their own uh, way of I guess expressing their preference what their style is like mine has it starts from big and it goes smaller and smallest and you, as you can see mine mine has like the three sizes right there with the biggest being the bottom mm -hmm. and even down to the the collar seed beat necklace it's all different I mean uh, like I said you know everyone's style is a little different everyone likes their own certain way and it's it's beautiful either way it's you know, kind of like their own self-expression um, like we said we take pride in our culture and we're very proud and we love it and that's that's why we're here today is to share that with you it takes time and it's it's it takes a lot of patience to do it but once you get down to knowing how you like how how the style of beating that you like uh, you'll get done with a medallion if you really sit and work on it within a day mm -hmm. um, it may take maybe months for um, just to have a whole set done um, that including that includes a belt as well um, but uh, as as the work gets more elaborate the more time that you have to put into it mm -hmm. um, more time more patience um, money <laughs> yeah money of course uh, but uh, there's really nothing to it once you uh, learn how learn to stitch pattern that you like um, I know your design it, it takes no, it, it really doesn't take too long to do um, you can get down and start with the simple beadwork there's many tutorials on YouTube if you just look up Native American beadwork where um, it'll show you their style of beadwork or sewing or I, I like to call it sewing sometimes um, how to do medallions um, and they've come up with so many different styles and colors and they have be become creative with their designs and it's so beautiful but if you just look it up on YouTube you'll, you'll be able to find some um, that'll help you get started along um, maybe just some simple simple bee work and everyone's craftsmanship is all unique so it's not all the same and like I said everyone's artwork is beautiful because they put their I like to say blood sweat and tears into it because you do poke yourself with the needle mm -hmm. plenty mm -hmm. <laughs> so Without further ado, I'm going to let Dorian do her part. Yay! <laughs> um, what you see, what we're wearing today, is what we call our traditional Choctaw attire. Um, what I'm wearing is an orange silk dress with uh, diamond trim work. Uh, the diamond trim work itself is hand sewn. I guess you can call that applique work. Um, this, Our dresses actually were made by our grandmother, Jessie Thompson. Um, she passed away several years ago, and she was one of the original um, Choctaw dressmaking demonstrator from Moundville. I think I said that wrong, but you get the drift. But um, we're very proud of our dress wear, our attire, because that's something very special that she made for us. Um, we feel that we need to continue that with our future generation, because it is a part of us and a part of our history and culture. Um, but as you can see, some of the dresses that you will see that are quite different, it's like beadwork. Um, everyone has their own style, everyone has their own color preference, um, just different variations of colors and, and style and design. It's not all going to be the same. You kind of just dress up how you, you feel, I guess. And, you know, when we dress up in our traditional attire, we feel beautiful because this is who we are as Choctaw women. Um, the diamond designs that you do see on my dress, uh, you can see it go throughout my dress on the top here. My grandmother also added what we call the ruffle on top, 
and she's also hand sewn and I played work the diamonds and trim work there and you can see it all through the dress here I'm also wearing what we call common word is the apron but you can see here she's added the orange diamond trim on that and then all through the apron she's done the ruffles and the bottom of my dress it's floor length when I stand up and that's that's what I prefer I love long dresses so on the bottom of my dress I do have the diamond trim work and ruffles on there as well and my sister has a similar style since mm -hmm. our grandmother made our dress for us and this dress in particular that I'm about to show you is not made by my grandmother but it belongs to my niece and her grandmother who is also a skilled dressmaker a talented craftsman made this dress and as you can see she's done the diamond trim work here and that's all hand sewn now on mine you can see the diamond stitch there in Choctaw tradition we do have a dance called the snake dance and that dance actually symbolizes the diamondback rattler uh, oral history does tells us that at one time our medicine man knew the cure for the rattlesnake bite at one time but throughout generations that that um that mystery to the cure has been lost through the years so sad to say we we don't carry that with us but we do we do symbolize the diamondback rattlesnake in our Choctaw dressmaking. Now, when we go back to preference as far as uh, wearing a Choctaw attire, whether it be a Choctaw shirt or a dress, um, designs can be different. Like here you see what we call, I call them X's and O's. Um, but um, if you're familiar with Choctaw culture, um, especially if you went to Choctaw Indian Fair, we have the World Series stickball game. Well, if you see here, the X's represents the sticks and the, the circles here represents the stick ball. So here, uh, that's what my niece chose for her design. And again, you kind of see how this dress was put together. Um, a lot of it, again, is all hand sewn. I don't know if you could tell on this one because it's so dark out here today. But if you can see it, it's kind of, you could see the stitching a little bit. Now, on a dress that we wear it does come in three pieces um, you have the first half here which is the top part with the arms sleeves and then if you can see a little bit right here you can see a band of uh, cloth right here that is actually what we call uh, I call it the connector because it's going to connect your top part and then your skirt part so that's like the waist part of the dress and then if you scoot on down here we can see the actual bottom part of the dress here and you can see where she's hand stitched the, the, the diamonds here as well as doing the ruffle work. Um, again, you'll see the, the stick ball and stick ball sticks on the bottom as well. Um, this one, you might be able to tell where she's hand stitched that one. You see all that there, the white part. Now that does take time, patience. Um, just like beadwork, it, it goes all in hand in hand when it comes to craftsmanship. Um, not everyone is going to get it right the first time, but practice does make perfect. Also, to the dress also has an apron that goes to it, and this is hers here. And you can see the difference and similarities between our aprons and hers. And I think hers is very beautiful. She's added that extra ruffle detail here, and that's very unique. I hardly ever see that, but that's that's beautiful. Um, but every every craftsman, their their designs, their beadwork, their dressmaking, it's all beautiful. Now, Choctaw men attire. Um, they normally wear just the top half of a shirt with uh, the bottom half would be just some black slacks or something like that and this is what they normally wear when we do um, performances social dances festivals um, gatherings and things like that Choctaw weddings they even they even wear Choctaw attire for that as well so this is one that my grandmother made as well and she continued with the diamond design through the arms and cuffs 
And in the breast part of the shirt, she does the diamond work here. And it's just a simple shirt, all hand sewn. And it just has a, a button where they can tighten and open and close there. All of it is very unique. Like I said, not everyone's Choctaw attire is going to be the same. Um, but a lot of it, you'll see a lot of the diamond work since it's, it's, it's very popular in our Choctaw culture. Well, a lot of people will ask, you know, uh, did y'all wear that in the old times? Um, you know, back then, in the old times, it was whatever you could find, whether it was pelts or just some sort of ornament dress, feathers, things like that. Now, the only thing we could find as far as answer-wise is when we come in contact with European settlers or even other tribes. We figured that during that time, trading was a big, a big deal back then, where we're able to get, you know, silver, copper, beads, um, you know, fabric and things like that. Um, but mostly a lot of that stuff, you know, back then it was like copper and um, silver, anything like that to make some some sort of ornament of dress. And like I said, it's kind of what we call self-preference because it's, it's what makes you beautiful. Um, well, I think that really concludes what we have to share with you guys today.